Welcome to the second part of the topic basic concepts in English language. Today we have to discuss about the clause, types of clauses and how it it functions in English language. Clause contains a subject and a predicate. Subject means doer of the action and predicate tells about the subject. For example, she composed a poem. She is our subject. Composed a poem is our predicate. So predicate is comprised of a verb, object as well as article. Then we have types of clauses. There are two types of clauses. Dependent clause and independent clause. Dependent clause always needs help of independent clause. Whereas independent clause does not need help of independent clause dependent clause does not stand on its own whereas independent clause it stand stands on its own for example although the teacher explained the concept clearly some students still had questions now here although the teacher explained the concept clearly if we see this this is our dependent clause which needs helps of another clause which is some student still had questions if we write it as some students still had questions this is conveying a complete sense okay whereas if we write only this like although the teacher explained the concept clearly this is our depend dependent clause because it is not giving us a, com a complete sense another example is if you study hard you will pass the exam if we see this you will pass the exam it is conveying a complete thought whereas if you study hard is not conveying a complete thought so it, it's our dependent class if you study hard what if you study hard you will pass the exam so this class needs other words to complete the thought the grade will be reduced if you do not submit the assignment on time this is written as the depend independent clause is written first and then we have written dependent clause if we write like this then there is no need to add comma if we write the dependent clause first we need to add comma and then independent clause if we write the independent class first like the grade will be reduced this is our independent class if you do not submit this assignment on time this is our dependent class now there are different functions of class first we have is noun class noun class acts as a noun first we discussed about the noun phrase now we are discussing about the noun class noun class the definition of class is that a class must have subject and a verb it acts as a noun begins with date who whom what when where why how for example what they said surprised everyone instead of writing subject like he she it we have written what so this becomes our noun class the it expert explained how the project works this he here this how is our noun class the it expert exp, expert explained what so how is written as a objective then we have adjective clause it acts as an adjective describes or modifies a noun or pronoun adjective clause includes who when whose which and that for example the book that i borrowed was interesting the painting which was displayed in the gallery was not sold out so this that and which are our adjective clauses because they are modifying something then we have comparative clause comparative means to compare two things the that student solved the problem more quickly than anyone else did so this is our comparative clause which is com which compares the student and anyone else he works harder than his brother does 
अगेन दिस इज़ अवर कंपेरेटिव क्लास